My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please Here we go. Excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. Normally in the morning As we read a always, couple Lord of Lord. his books, but... Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I'm pretty sure we're all getting screwed. That a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Duke Manuel? Against, of course. <laughs> well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's yeah, project. you would be. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? Whoa. So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, Remember me to your husband when you see him. Oh. And you, President Washington, what is your position? <laughs> uh -oh. Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. Our it's trickery just worked. Too risky. Unless it's part well, of their larger plan and we're screwed. That leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! And Have you been here he goes. What? There you are, quibbling away. My lord do this, and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. I do believe it's we actually over. said puppets Jacques. earlier. My lord, thank you. For everything you've done for me over the years. Yeah, he's done. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack. We'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. Ooh. I want my freedom back, my lord. No, no, no. I shall no longer work for you. Oh, God. Wait. To reset. Oh, God. Just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Just be cool. Psychology works on him. Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a yep. decent person. I have done so many horrible things! You blame yourself, I can- I should actually really quickly check here, because... Uh, etiquette See and that? psychology. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Ooh. Conviction. That's an expensive one, but he might not even be good with this. Let's do this. Immunities and invulnerabilities. None of these. So let's go ahead and make this one free. I'm sure we can work things out. But you don't know him. Let's stay united, Jack. He's nothing without us. Mm, really? Trust me. And here's the etiquette. This is not who you are. You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward. So give me your weapon, please. But I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. I don't want him to talk to me. Don't worry. You're safe now, Jack. He's terrified, man. Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur Saved Trichet you. here hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. 
You've got drama on the menu. Recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Damn. So he convinced Washington, found out that Jacques Peru would do anything for his daughter, saved Jacques Peru, slept with Hillsborough, followed Gregory home, found out Lord Mortimer has a role in the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, reassured Sarah, and participated in the conference. Didn't fail anything, but we could have followed Lord Mortimer, and I could have found out about Sir Gregory home. Fair enough. Okay, here we go. We can assign four points to whatever, but... We should double check in here. So we've got um, two for questioning, one for agility, politics, and etiquette. So if I take a point here in etiquette, then I'll get a free one. Uh, politics I'd have to put a couple into, but it might not be terrible. And then psychology is just kind of like, you know, it's there. It's kind of happening. So I think I'll go here, just so that we can do um, etiquette and politics. And then what else would be good? Maybe agility? Because that's the only one that we're missing from uh, our from this side. And then we'll have a point for it as well. I think that's okay. veteran it's their savior it's hard to know if they're talents or traits oh I guess here it probably came up and said talent I just missed it your effort points pool increases by one. Oh, cool I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Perrou has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friend, <laughs> let Bowling us doesn't like that. Please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis' courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes. You're welcome. It was very noble. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Peru with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. Maybe I he think needs, uh, Washington needs a loud little enough. rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Oh, God. Okay, now we're reading. It's weird because these have happened. Um, these have happened previously, like right after you wake up. So it's just weird how these are unfolding now. But either way, these are the three that we were going to unlock. Oh, God. Resist the manipulation. And let me check this place first. Are these the same letters that we saw here before? Yes. And that bird. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. <laughs> I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Okay. Hmm. Tell me, my lord, can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? 
Come now, that's a bit harsh. Well, I mean, I look at him. I think simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Yeah, sure, Having but... Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate, and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. He would if not have liked lost, that. He lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. Have we covered everything? Yikes. Absolutely. Oh, Louis. <laughs> One more thing, please. Of course. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. Well, this I don't think so. This project needs men like you, Louis. I'll just tell him I'll think about it, because I don't and need to ruffle know, his right? feathers too much. Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured, I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord. Hmm. Alright, good chat. Not as manipulative as I expected it to be. Which I guess is fine. Hmm, which four-letter word? Oh yeah, this, this freaking thing. Yeah, I still have no idea, and I'm not gonna... I have no clue what opens that. I was hoping maybe like a finesse skill so we could just bash it. Oh, what's over here? Key with an occult water symbol. Alright. I think anything with keys, we're like generally fine with um, lock picking now. I always get lost in where our room is. This whole upper path, it's like the two sides look the same to me. I could frame it as, well, it's nice to just have like, oh, should we talk to George? Nah, we're okay. It's nice to just tour the place once in a while, you know? <laughs> Here we go. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, oh. Mr. President, I'm coming. Okay, he's coming to us. Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. Oh. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. Yeah, we gotta go I for must sure. act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. We'll just leave the president in our room. Uh, let's keep going this way. Hers is in one of the, like, front-facing rooms, I think. Yeah, here. This will be delicate. I can't believe that's Emily's voice. Find a way of getting in. I can't understand what she's saying. 
Okay, we're gonna have to go around the back then. Or lock pick our way in. I can't open it. What? It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in quick. Okay, so we need to go into another person's room to a balcony. Come on. I have to get inside Emily's room through the shit. What? Locked. Oh, look how expensive these ones are. All right. We're going to be fine. Is it these ones? It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? A letter from I should never have told you what happened to me. Addressed That's to Emily. It works, and you know it well. Prime Minister I'm not that of the United naive. Kingdom. I know Emily has indeed some powerful Stop. backers. We'll a Greek drachma. One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned. Both two coils circle the lock. Do this quick before we talk to them. Ooh, a letter too. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. So Gregory asked her to hand, do some research. As you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. All right. I've retrieved everything. Oh. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Oh, what the? What's happening? What on earth is... You... Mother? What? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for oh, you. Oh, what? You are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my Oh, uh, here we go. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? So what? is she not dead? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Oh, God, do we? After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Oh, Don't boy. you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You frissy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me. Go on, then. Shoot. After all the Everyone trouble just chill I've gone out. through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what? What's going An entire life for this. Go on. Shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. Can everyone I just am chill not out? Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I. That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but 
I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure oh there's no doubt. Yeah, I don't know how to tell them apart. In open, Louis. Let's see. I thought it was logical. It swaps between logical Wait, and open and I rational an and open. On the night of our arrival. Oh. Who was with us on the wharf? Cardinal Piaggi. He was with us from when we started traveling by ship. We arrived on the same boat. I already told her, Louis. Another question then. I'm the one who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. This is gonna be hard, man. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. More uh oh, welcome immunity. In a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Yep, that's Mortimer true. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Um... Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? Not at all. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. You think? I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. <laughs> Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at you yourself both are. for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. Mm -hmm. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What did we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. Mm. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the golden fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. Yeah, I can't remember all of that. She already knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had I honestly enough have no clue. Raid. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. Last I night, didn't maybe? I want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. What do we talk about? What was the reason for your visit? Now, are they both immune to this? Oh, she's vulnerable. The one in front's vulnerable. So hold on, if this one's vulnerable... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... Then she must be the real Emily. Right? Oh, but they're both immune to questioning. But we know that she's vulnerable to this. But maybe they're both the same. Last night, you came to visit me, and I can't help wondering why. See, now let's see. Does that get revealed here? It didn't. So that means that she must be Emily, the one in the front. Why did you come to my room? Louis, you must be mistaken. I did not go to your room last night, and what? that's where your little game ends, Emma. Because I never told you about it. So, there you can't answer. What? what? No! You didn't do that. I didn't want you to be jealous of Louis. Okay, now I'm confused. Remember how you always used to react whenever you felt you were competing against a man? You dirty- That's enough. I've had enough of this charade. That's enough, both of you. It could have been now Emma coming to set the trap. 
I think Emily is the one across from us. And Emma is the one who came last night to set this up. Just based on what we're seeing in the things. In the sheets. It's you, Emily. No, Louis. She is manipulating you. Trait unlocked profile. No, Emma. It's her. I know it. Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut. Whoa. Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never. I am Duchess Hills. Whoa. No. I hope we made the right choice. Emily? I am the Duchess. But you don't. I. Dear God, what have I done? Oh See my God. See what you've done. See? Louis? Mother! What on earth is. Go away! You must go. This is, Everyone is completely going to effed. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Run! Is everything alright? Come on, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I. Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. I hope that was real Emily. What? what are you doing there? Stop! God damn it. Now what's going on? Jesus. To the crypt. Wait, what? No, this is, uh... This is, uh, Volner. Why can't I, like... What the f- <laughs> What the hell is going on? Why is Volner dead all of a sudden? And we can't even, like, engage. Good God! They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Should I like? I'm gonna pretend play Did dumb. Did you hear maybe. that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. The frick? We're just gonna not talk about the fact that... My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. That Walner's dead? Alright. Uh, do we know... This is the dining hall. Small salon. How do I get out to the garden? Let's see if it's through here. Library. Light water will give me a little reprieve. I guess we could run through here and see if there's anything we can find. This will take us through the library. I feel like based on the the information that we had, we did pick the right um, the right person. Because if we would have used the psychology, it, then it should have shown here that that was revealed on Emma, but it wasn't. So by process of elimination, it had to be her, right? Okay, cool. We're cruising. 
Oh, maybe, uh... Do I need to keep going down? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This frickin' maze. <laughs> wrap all the way around 